Hey there YouTube, this is Robert. I'm here to talk to you today about the draft analysis tool and the draft tool, all in preparation for using mold tools to create a mold of your part. Here we've got my famous Lego example, and it just really makes just so many great examples, so that's why we keep using it. Very versatile. Um, an important thing to consider when making molds is the draft. The reason for this is when you pull mold halves apart, the part needs to be able to slide out of the mold halves and not get stuck on the mold, and so you set a slight angle to all of your faces. Draft analysis helps highlight the faces that need a draft, so we're going to use that. So I've got the mold tools tab here. If you don't see that, right click on your tabs and you'll see all the different tabs you can choose from. Mold tools is there. We're going to choose draft analysis. Now the first thing we're going to pick is the direction of pull. Basically what direction is this thing going to be pulled out of the mold? So we're going to select this face and it's going to pick the direction that is perpendicular to that face. Green and red are good. Green is positive draft. Red is, neg red is negative draft. And those are places where it's going to be pull or be pulled. But yellow is not good. Yellow means it requires a draft. So we're just going to click the check mark and that color scheme is going to stay turned on all the time until we turn draft analysis off. This will just help us know which faces we've got left to do. Here's the draft tool. I'm going to turn that on. Now I set the tolerance for the draft analysis at one degree and we're going to do the same thing here. Whoops, wrong button. So I'm going to set this to one degree. Once again we're going to pick direction of pull. So I'm going to pick this top face. And now we're going to pick the faces that need a draft. Now what this is going to do is it's going to slant out these vertical faces so that way they aren't vertical anymore. So I'm going to select all four sides of the Lego and all eight of the pegs and we're going to click apply. Now they all turn green and the reason for that, I don't know if you can see it, is there's a slight angle drafting out now on all of these faces. So that's good. On the underside we still have some yellow. So we're going to pick a new direction. We're going to pick the bottom face now. You can see the pull is down. Select the inside yellow faces. And then click apply to draft. And now they're all red. Because we have all red and all green, that's very good. It'll make creating our split lines much easier later on and it'll make uh, a mold that'll actually make sense. Uh, depending on your uh, mold requirements, you might want to set a draft bigger than one degree, uh, but in this case, that's all we've selected. Um, once you've got it the way that you like it, you can turn off the colors by clicking on draft analysis again. I always do because I don't like the way that it, it looks as I try to work on my part in the, later on. I know that it's good now, so we're just gonna save our work. Next time we'll go over how to make uh, splitting uh, split lines, shut off faces, parting surface, basically getting everything ready uh, to make your mold. This has been another SolidWorks tutorial. Uh, let me know if you have questions or comments. Uh, and especially let me know if you have subjects that you'd like me to cover in the future. Thank you to all the recent subscribers. Uh, I really look forward to hearing what, you, uh, what you'd like to hear me talk about. Um, this has been Robert. Have a good day.